Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, back in the same swim as where we left off. Like I said, we're going to just try and keep coming in here, keep the bait trickling in the same spot, see if we can nick one. Uh, turned up last night and got the rods out, put some bait out, and uh, yeah, we just uh, just bagged one. It's not massive, might be pushing 20. So yeah, happy days, the uh, spots are still working, they're still getting on the bait, so we'll keep um, keep trickling it in and keep going. I'm going to, I think I'm going to sort the rod and get the rod back out first and then put bait over the top of it. I always prefer to put bait over the top of the rig because it might help hide the leader, so on and so forth. It's not going to hide the pop-up because it will just bounce around it and sort of still present itself. So. Yeah, we'll see you in a second with the fish. Well, not a bad start at all, to be fair. Cracking fish. Probably about 20 pound, if that. Spots are still rocking, the bait's still working. I'll show the other side. Lovely little fish, it's got a bit of damage just down here. Put some of the uh, polis on that in a minute. Yeah, heal it up nicely. Yeah, great start. Bella, what's this? Ooh, that's a fish. Yeah, you're not interested, are you? <laughs> Lovely fish. All right, let's wait and get it back. Well guys, I was uh, just putting out the right rod again and um, as I cast it, just to get the braid to get a bit wet, the middle rod's absolutely booted off and uh, it just felt so heavy so I thought it was weeded up. But turns out there's a, a rather large carp in the net. I don't know how big it is, but it is wide. So we'll see you on the map with it in a minute. It's, it's a beautiful looking fish. <laughs> Look at the size of it! Oh, it's so heavy! <laughs> oh man! What a huge fish! It's so wide and it's just an absolute tank! Oh, I'm buzzing! I'm absolutely buzzing! I don't even know how heavy this is yet! <laughs> What a fish. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm struggling to hold it. Don't know if that's the adrenaline or how big it is. Oh, what a legendary fish. Right. Let's get it weighed up. Well, it wasn't the biggest fish in the lake. Um, it was massive, um, well, massive for me. And the scales being broken sort of made me think, hang on a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a PB, um, 38 pound. So I'm at 37 and a half, 38 pound. Um, it was bouncing between 44 and just over 43. So if we say 43 and a half, take away five and a half for the sling that's 38 I think if my maths are any good um, but we'll say 37 and a half 38 just in case because it could have been bouncing or whatever so yeah but I'm buzzing it's a PB it's a banging fish uh, it spawned out a little bit someone had it at 39 not long ago um, well, not long ago I think a month or two months ago however long but yeah absolutely made up so that's two fish so far um, off of both spots out in front of me uh, left spot still to go we'll uh, hopefully pick up something on that but yeah that was on a yellow um, uh, sea monster there would be yeah yellow sea monster pop up over Atlantic heat and corn the, the smaller one of the two was on a white uh, sent from hell as per usual and then I trimmed down a little bit of the sea monster pop-up. So it's like a little square on top. 
just to imitate a little bit of corn and it gives an extra sort of uh, flavour in the water and a bit of different scent. So yeah, absolutely buzzing. All the rods are back out now. I've stuck a bit more bait out. I've only got a little bit of bait left, but I thought if I hoof a bit, quite a bit out now, if there's fish in the area, hopefully I'll hold them there and I'll just top up a spawn, two spawns after every bite if I get anything else. If not, um, tomorrow evening for the last night, we're gonna um, just put the rest of the bait out, sit on it and see what happens. But it goes to show first thing in the morning I didn't wake up and redo my rods and this is what I was saying on my last vlog I didn't redo the rods I didn't stick more bait out I just left the swim had one rod go <laughs> sorry had one rod go um, and then as I was about to recast it the middle rod goes so it, it's, it's a tactic that seems to be paying off and I suggest you give it a go if you don't if you wake up first thing in the morning and reset your rods and redo your rods and everything like that just leave it you never know what can happen leave it till lunchtime one two o'clock or whatever like that if nothing else happens redo them but it's, <laughs> as it's just as it's just been proven by myself um yeah it's worthwhile it's worth a go but yeah we'll uh, come back to you if anything else happens if not I'm still buzzing anyway because it's a PP. <laughs> yes. And it's a good thing. Well, it sucks that it wasn't the biggest one. But at the same time, it's a good thing because if I had the biggest one now, it would be a bit of a killer because I've only just started on here. So if I'm going to beat my PB, it'd be nice, like every other time I've beaten my PB, to do it gradually. So before it was like 33, and then I got a 33 and a half, and then after that it was a 34. And then a 35 and then a 35 and a half and then I got a 36 and a half and obviously just now so it's yeah it's nice to do it gradually because it still gives you something to aim for and there's quite a lot of fish in here that'll beat that anyway well we'll leave that there and we'll see you soon where's well, fish number three I love commons and this is a perfect example such like a dark chestnut colour. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Put up such a scrap as well. Stay there, bear. Banger. Right, let's uh, show the other side. Get it weighed up and then get it back. I don't think he's too happy he's been caught. <laughs> I'm happy I caught him. <laughs> what a lovely fish. Alright, time to weigh him and uh, slip him back. Common was a banger. I didn't bother weighing it in the end because the scales are buggered, but it looks about 22, 23, 24 at a push. So, until I get my other scales sorted, unless it's a massive fish or something that I think, yeah, I need to weigh this, then I won't be weighing it, if need be, if I do get a decent sized one, I'll uh, run round to someone next door, well not next door, but closest person along and see if I can borrow the scales quickly, but yeah, free fish, and we've still got tonight and tomorrow night to go, so yeah, it's looking good for it. The wind's picked up quite a lot now. It's blowing down this end quite a lot. So hopefully it'll bring some fish down. And uh, yeah, hopefully they get on the munch and um, we can nail some more. What do you think, boy? Hmm? You wanna you wanna catch some more fish? Do you do you wanna catch some more fish? Yeah, fair enough. Do you want another biscuit? Yeah, I bet you do. It's worse than me for food. But yeah, fingers crossed guys that we have another one and we shall see you soon. Well, as per usual in this swim, the action has died off. Um, there's been no movement or anything like that. I've seen the odd one or two show. Um, but I'm not expecting anything until probably tomorrow morning now. If I do pick one or two off from now until the morning, happy days. Um, if not, who cares, because I've had a PB. Um, but yeah, the aim of the game is to try and catch 
some more, some bigger ones. Um, no, I'm kidding, it doesn't really matter if I do or not. But yeah, we're gonna chill for the rest of the evening. I've had my dinner, had some nice maple barbecue pork burgers. They're banging, like absolutely banging. I've only got £3.54 £4 from um, Aldi as well. Really, really nice. It tastes like the um, barbecue rib Brussels burgers. <laughs> and I friggin' love them. Absolutely love them. Yeah, we shall see you in the morning and, uh, well, we'll see you before that, hopefully. Um, but if not, we'll see you in the morning. I'm going to spend the rest of the night sulking because I've burnt in between my knuckles. It's going to blister. So, yeah, you'll be a little crybaby and sulk. So, we'll see you soon. Morning, everyone. Nothing happened last night, obviously, as you would have uh, you would have seen. I had to redo all the rods this morning, which I weren't keen on, but Swans decided they wanted to uh, wipe the rods out. Well, the middle one, the left one. But I redid the right one just in case they knocked and pinged that one as well. And whilst I was at it, I stuck the rest of the bait out just because obviously casting out and making a disturbance, I might as well do it all at once instead of a bit later. But I haven't seen any shows or anything else in front of me. And usually in this swim, if I'm seeing shows in front of me, even out in in the distance, in the big triangle of the islands. If I'm seeing fish, 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 if I'm seeing fish there, it's usually a sign that I'm going to get a bite, because it means they're in the area. But I've seen nothing this morning, so I'm going to give it to two, three o'clock. If nothing happens by then, I will pack up and go home. Uh, cut the session short. Doesn't bother me too much because, <laughs> well, I've caught a PB, so and other fish. So I don't mind going home early. I've got some things to sort out at home as well, so it'd be nice to get a head start on those. But yeah, we'll keep you updated if anything happens. If not, we'll see you with the gear on the barrow. Look at that. That's what happens when you burn yourself, people. Be careful of hot oil. It will do that to your skin. And I really want to pop it, but I've been told not to because it might get infected and so on and so forth but yeah I really really want to pop it <laughs> what do you reckon stinker? bear what's my tar? it's a nice wind yeah as I was saying a minute ago usually seeing shows in this whole area in between those islands and then you see you've got the left island the middle and the right creates a triangle so if I ever refer to the triangle, you know what I'm on about. Now, we're usually seeing shows all around that area, and it will lead to me getting a bite. So, might be a good idea to pack away and go home, because they might not be in the area. But we'll see what happens. See you soon. Well, everybody, it's that time. No fix on the barrow. Look at that forged tackle bag, look at that. Looking lovely rod bag sorry yeah I'm gonna head off cut the session short but I've I've not seen anything at all uh, the wind is hacking in here quite a lot you'd expect them to be on the end of it but I think they're on the back of it if I'm honest because I've seen shows on the other side oh just popped that accidentally oh well yeah we've had a PB we've had two other fish bangers as well so I'm absolutely buzzing looking forward to getting down next uh, if you don't see me for a week or two, uh, it's my birthday on the 8th of July, so I don't know whether I'll be getting in for a session or, or whatever. Hang on boy, we're going in a minute. But if you see me before then, um, yeah, hopefully we can carry on the run of success and have some more fish. I will start off in this swim again, um, depending, I'll, I'll have a walk around the lake and see, see who's on. Um, yeah play it by eye but probably going to carry on in this swim because it seems to be building up I'm getting bigger fish so hopefully next time it'll be something even bigger if not we'll just hope to catch a fish as it is but yeah absolutely buzzing I'm really really happy to uh, be able to share my PB with you guys and thank you again for watching thank you again for the support don't forget to check out Baitworks um, social medias website YouTube all that 
also forge tackles youtube um instagram facebook and all that as well so yeah we uh we'll see you hopefully next week if not we'll see you after my birthday <laughs>